Oftentimes, photographers add interest to their photographs by putting things that are in the foreground into focus, while items in the background will be out of focus, or vice versa. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use an option called Depth of Field that will help you capture a sense of depth in your renderings by controlling whether the objects in the foreground or the background are in focus. To use Depth of Field, you must add a camera in SolidWorks. To do this, I'll right-click on the Lights and Cameras folder in the Feature Manager tree and select Add Camera. The Property Manager will appear, and the Graphics area will be split to show you the position of the camera and a preview from the camera's perspective. You can click and drag the yellow and red dots to position the target of the camera and the position of the camera itself. As I move them, you'll see the camera's preview window update in real time. For this example, I've actually created a couple of sketch points to help me with the positioning, but keep in mind, this is usually a pretty visual process of clicking and dragging until you find the view you like. I'll make sure the camera rotation is set to zero, and I'll also adjust some of the numerical values for the camera's field of view. Notice how the icons next to each of these fields correspond the icons to the image above for length, height, and angle. These settings can also be adjusted manually by clicking and dragging the green rectangle in the graphics area. Once the camera's orientation and field of view are set, I could click OK to accept the camera settings, but before I do, I want to adjust the Depth of Field section to control the focus of objects in the foreground and background. I'll click Depth of Field to activate it. This is where I can tell SolidWorks what I want to have as the camera's focus. I'll use the Focus by Selection option, and when I roll my cursor over the Selection window, I can see SolidWorks is looking for a vertex, curve, face, or plane on which to focus. For this example, let's focus on the object furthest from the camera and make the objects in the foreground fuzzy. To do this, I'll click on an edge or vertex of the model in the back to establish the focus plane. When the focus plane is located, two other planes will appear representing the distance from the focus plane that the camera will begin to lose focus. This is an approximate value that you can type into the Property Manager. At this point, I can press OK to take a look at the results. The camera view I just created can be found with all of the other standard views by either pressing spacebar on the keyboard or selecting it from the pop-up menu in the graphics area. Remember, the depth of field option was only specified in the camera view we created. If I was to render the image while I'm in any other view, everything would appear in focus. Since I'm in the camera view right now, when I click Render, the depth of field will take effect. I'll go ahead and click it. And you'll see the object we specified is in focus, while the object in the foreground is out of focus. What if we wanted to switch this so that the foreground is in focus and all of the background is out of focus? Well, all I have to do is edit the camera we created by right-clicking on it and selecting Properties. And in the Depth of Field section, I'll clear the selection box, and this time, I'll use a vertex of the model in the foreground. I'll adjust the focus distance, and click OK. This time when I render the model, the object I specified in the foreground will be in focus while the objects behind it will appear blurry. As a side note, keep in mind this depth of field option only controls the focus of the actual SolidWorks models. To make the background image blurry, this must be done using some third-party image software.